Keith. We, uh, we're live. For those of you that don't know, this is my man Keith. Just flew in from Australia. And These guys are doing well in the Red Cross. Good, good morning, morning to you. Good morning. Right, I think we're about ready to get started. Well, this is the start to Saturday. I'm ready to watch two grown men spray champagne all over each other at the end of this thing. Look at the give him a flipper. Oh, and here's the block after the 98th miss hands call of the tournament. I've never just hit a ball into the block like that. I normally try to go around it. One of the first rules about volleyball is you want to get the ball near the side of the court. Definitely quiet. Quiet. Oh, and unbelievable. That, we waited for that. For that type of action, you can head on down to your local beach Popeyes here in Chicago at North 58. Everybody serves into the net, but the chicken sandwiches are delicious. They were pretty good. Yeah, they weren't Popeyes good, but they were pretty good. The new Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. Touche. Oh. Touche. Touche. Unbelievable block there. You get a block. I get a block. A little one point lead, 4 3. Casey's moving a little slow this morning. I heard Casey Patterson took his family to the all-you-can-eat Hawaiian pancakes at Denny's this morning. He had a little too much, and now he's moving a little slow. So let's see if those cut shots today really continue to pick up some speed. Here's the hit double. True to form. So close. Directly over handle. the block. He's high, he's so force. tall. He's just so tall. Yeah. For what he really lacks in skill, he makes up for in height. And you can't teach them. Oh, I think I feel a jump surf. Yeah, that was a jump surf. Yeah. This commercial break brought to you by the Tortoise Club. Chicago's finest fine dining experience. Surprisingly, maybe not serve tortoise. A little misleading. I agree. Chase is so pale that he actually can't use prescription gray sunscreen, so he smothers himself with mayonnaise before each game. Oh. Mayonnaise is nature's son. Okay, that was good. That was good. Got some fans back here, just got a souvenir. You're welcome. Back and forth with gold points, all tied up at seven. So here on the seven seven switch, what's most important to remember there, Anna? I I mean I hate to harp on it, but I've got to go back to keep the serve in. It's Look really hard way. to score when you don't serve in. Here's another miserable outside. Case in point. Very well timed. Oh, I'm sorry. You I can tell you really got a good this grasp way. on the game. Your level of attentiveness, awareness. Let's see if Casey. That's why I, I could never play with these guys. You can't keep your serve in. I'm sorry. You're, I'm not going to play with you. Look. Casey, Patterson, your serve in, you get a point. The it's that ball back here. Casey Patterson back for the serve. He really does a good job at hitting the ball at its highest point straight into the net. You know, I don't like to harp on one thing, serving. This guy got to do to get a beer around here. You know, one of the most important things is to stay hydrated. Look at that. You it's serve in, you score. About 85% of the points come from in-float serves. There's usually two or three athletic plays a game, yeah, and the rest is awesome. basically extreme peppery. Just like to point out, we've got a lady rough today. Equal opportunity right here. EEO e compliant here with the AVP. Oh, that's a bump kill. Saves with a bump kill. 11-10, we take the technical timeout here in seven. Kind of like one. serving. If you could just keep it in that box, there's a good chance you're going to get a point. This you're technical timeout brought to you by Chicago Technical Community College. Mark Technically, Sherman it's not a college. That you guys can all stay in his room. Set one. Stop talking and play some music! Security. Security. <laughs> another really nice oh, paced pass by nice Chase. Like that. You can tell as he gets more technical, Casey tries a little bit less. Found it odd that they, they would serve uh, Buttinger there. Yeah, I don't really understand the strategy here. Typically, I don't know about you, I try to stay away from the tall guy. I'm a big fan of the just say no. Excellent point there. Here's the monster block of the day. Oh. Chase, right. once again, reminding us that height doesn't equal talent. Appreciate that, Chase. Here we go. There, she's a the shorter guy. Ooh, a little cutting. Casey Patterson, the cut shot from the right side. That cut kill shot brought to you by Chicago, middle capital of the country. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Uber driver was pretty proud of that. I think it's really important to point out as we get deeper here in the match, Casey Patterson really hasn't picked up one shot outside of all of Chase's blocks. 
Here's another miss here on cue by Casey Patterson with a high, high swing. You would think he would just stand back there and dig those balls because they keep going to the same spot. Yeah, nine times out of ten, if you're in a spot and somebody hits a ball at you, you can get it in the air somehow. These next couple points here are going to decide this match, in my opinion. And there, and on once again, you got to get another serve. All the fans seem incredibly miserable. The sun's not out yet. They don't have beer. They don't serve beer till 11 o'clock here, which just, is unbelievable. I just, I can feel the excitement draining from here every time a serve hits the net. Just, all they want is a serve to go in. Good high touch there. I can't tell if people are sweating or if those are tears of cold. Who's not bored? The volunteers. They are, they may be the hardest working people here. Yeah, the Tennessee Volunteers, it's a good ball program. They've really been in a slump lately, but I think with the new coaching style, they're really going to come out of this. Casey Pattis is showing us the type of hit he had 30 years ago when he first started playing. He was pretty excited about that, didn't he? I think he's just trying to pump himself up. He's pretty brave. Going with the jump. Another aggressive serve, another tight set. Almost a slam there. Oh, what a murderous hit brought to you by see. A little taunting over here. Now we're talking. Somebody, somebody wants that hammer award. He must have drank in his Loganitis this morning. Be a hammer. Oh, you know, Billy's trying to do this one-handed scoop thing, and it's just not working for him. His uh, defensive tactic there really reminded me, took me back to the Dave Chappelle skit of Prince playing basketball with his hands out, he's boxing out, just and then afterwards he serves you pancakes. It's really sad to look it didn't, at him. It didn't work for Prince. I'm going to go ahead and call it. This is the end of the game right here. He's going to hit right. There it is. And on cue. Chase hanging up there. So here in Chicago, 2019 yeah, AVP, I'd love to really bring to you the top around, five keys to the game. We'll go back and forth here, kind of a round robin style. So Sean, why don't you kick us off? First and foremost, okay, job, serving. Now it's gonna get Way really too tough. many missed serves there. Just step over. Uh, just, it's like they don't even practice serving. It's weird. You got it. Unbelievable. You're back. really driving home the seven point. My second key to the game is always find uh, a good looking person in the stadium. Put all your positive attention towards them. Forget about the game. You'll play a little bit looser and a little bit more fun. Oh, so like don't hurt like yourself, uh, sir. I'm a big fan of being tall. I'll leave you in it. The taller yeah. the better. Oh. Chase oh, no, you're out. You're out. Definitely totally prove that. That would be three. Your Fourth key to the game is always shot going to be in between matches. See, right now, Buddy and Patterson seem to be strategizing and talking with their coach, but they could be funneling a bush light like a true American hero. Can you make it? And okay. sticking with that, no? you yes. got to have a good breakfast. I mean, it starts yeah. with Sorry, breakfast. Sorry, so Next. Cereal, maybe a biscuit. I don't know what you had. I mean, have breakfast. Oh. But Unbelievable. I think the, the beer tent's going to open soon, so I'm looking forward to that. Well, oh, that commercial break so brought to you by Fruity Pebbles, five keys of the game. A lot of the fans are going to notice Stabbin Slick's mood a little slower today. He was doing keg stands on top of the Zima last night in the Cavu Cavu Lounge off of 52nd. Nice high set there. Oh. Banger by Casey Patterson. He must have funneled the bush light that we were talking about. Chase is excited. Does the hammer work for you? Nominee? Okay. Chase was definitely excited about that one. You can almost feel the momentum. Suck it! 2-0. <laughs> Chase looks confused. He doesn't know what is going on right now. There's a reason. Oh, that was nice. These players parties, they're pretty well known on the circuit as... Well, let's just say if you want to have a good time, you go to the park. Absolutely. I think it's important to recognize that not only are some of the talents around volleyball, some are around drinking, some are around extracurricular activities. For example, a movie back in, I believe it was the 70s, Pan's Labyrinth, Ed Routledge made a surprise appearance as the creature with the eyeballs in his hands. I feel that anybody that didn't just see that double over the net, you're missing out. Yeah, that, you are missing out. I believe there's a Chicago rule that the refs can't call doubles. I've seen about 45 since I've been here, and it's really been disappointing. It's, it, it is a little sad, to be quite honest. Let's just go ahead and wow. take a second to breathe and watch this decent rally. Wow. Che, I just feel like he's already high, and then he just goes higher. Like, nope, nope, you want to go over me? Yeah, they, Not going to happen. When you have the ability to jump in the air and make decisions, and your decision's not jumping, it's really an added talent that a lot of these guys have displayed this weekend. He's really, really making Casey look good out there. Six, seven, eight. This break brought to you by Drake's Organic Spiced Ice. 
The vodka lemonade's got a particular flavor. So it's really nice. Or something that you're using that mango the, rum punch. What's that, hammer or whatever? Not too shabby. Okay. So let's talk about some of the special attributes that many of our friends bring to the table. Oh, uh, let's see, we got Josh Wells, one of the original wannabe godfathers there with this quick silver beard. It's really good just to see him out in public. It is. A very rare. Oh. Yes! Yes! I couldn't tell if that was a hit or a gunshot. But uh, let's keep our heads down and our hearts heavy. Yeah, we're making the guest circuit today. We're going to be guest commentating here. This is Keith Matthews out of Pensacola, Florida. Sean Heim out of Juneau, Alaska. And once we're done here, we're going to do some guest refing on the stadium court. Maybe a little guest DJ, since DJ Roush is more interested in DJing for the Lakers in this freebie of a tournament. And just like that, 12-9. Game two. Buttinger, Patterson up. A little surprised at that. Uh, I figure the guys with the louder shorts, they normally do better. Absolutely. What do you think really plays into a winning attitude here in the volleyball life? Oh, well, you got to have a good hi -ya. I Absolutely. And you can hi -ya. The noise, the hitting noises while you're swinging are one of the more important things that I've learned as a personal player that make you look like you know what you're doing, but you really don't. Fun fact. Keith, I've got a, is that a kimono I see over there? Someone's in a kimono. Fun fact about Casey, yeah, when he was 19, he was... Oh, an unbelievable up by Casey. And on cue, Puttinger swings it like an old pro basketball player. Right out of the court. How do you hit a ball that far out? I mean, it, it was almost impressive that he hit it that far. Geez, I can't help but notice a lot of gold in the crowd. Yeah, this, this is the gold series, which means there's a little bit higher payout. Uh, another double. Suck it! <laughs> um, that was a no. That was... That was that, I'm going to nominate that for a suck it play of the day. The, the old SPUD. That was a very clear suck it. If any of you guys have not been to an AVP, you are missing out. They will literally let anyone come and sit in a booth and stare at this thing. It's probably not even on, but that's okay. Absolutely. I think it's important to remind everybody at home that they are showing cornhole now at this point on ESPN. So if you're willing to watch people throwing bags in a box, Come out here and watch some athletes jump in the sand. True athletes, though. I mean, not just anyone can throw a bag into a hole. Finally, 13. some guys are getting a little chippy. Absolutely. And I just feel like that's been missing. Yeah, it was very degrading back in the day to you play your opponents and not talk mess. They on cue this budding yeah. Now they're just trying to let their play speak for them. Yeah, back in the day, people would directly attack family members, including mothers, grandmas, aunts, uncles, the whole nine. I don't, I don't get many blocks, but when I do, I let everyone know. Hey, that was me. I'll tell you what comes to mind, that shot right there especially, too little, too late. Absolutely, too little, too late. I believe he's got a tattoo on his inner thigh that says too little, too late. Well, that's because he's down five with two to go. I've got to stop eating these things. You're fantastic. Guys, I don't know if you can see this. Right there. Drakes. Trust me, it's the best breakfast you'll have ever. Bring in the heat. He did everything but yeah, yell, suck it. <laughs> suck it, nerd. <laughs> According to the DJ, it's 20 to 14. Yeah, Casey really needs to put this one away. He's got a mandatory court hearing for parking illegally at a Sammy's. Oh, just like and that. just like that. Just like that, it's over. That ends it in two. Bender Patterson, Unbelievable. 20, Alice Wick, 14. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, but Alan and Slick cannot be happy about that Billy performance. Still the taking on Taylor well, Keith, Crab I just got to say, it's Jake been a pleasure. Spiker. You, uh, yeah. you killed it on the dance floor last night. Yeah, absolutely. The staff is great. The event's great. The venue's great. Casey and Buttinger really took a hold of that match on Buttinger's back. Blocking balls, digging balls. Casey had his hair looking good. Uh, coming up next, uh, Dateline's Chris Hansen to catch a predator. And, uh, is that tonight? Yeah, absolutely it is. Yeah, I need to go make a phone call. We're out. Have a good one.